Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is a part of my jungle. We are sitting up in the loft in front of my greenhouse right now. And uh, if you're not new here, hi. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. Today we're gonna do, I guess, like, I don't really know. I don't really know where I'm going with this video, I guess plant chores or whatever you want to call it but I got a box here and I can cover my address and show you what the box says perishable <laughs> um, living beneficial organisms so I've got some beneficial mites in here I don't remember exactly which ones they're called off the top of my head I can leave them on the screen for you they are from nature's good guys so i'm gonna open these up they're like little satchels of slow release predatory mites because i found spider mites back here and i started treating some of them with captain jacks and i just like i there's a lot of plants in here you guys so i was like i do not want to have to pull all of them out and treat all of them and all of that nonsense is just like mm, too much so <laughs> I figured we would try beneficial mites. So if you've been here, you remember my thrips outbreak at my mom's and I tried to get lace wing. I got lace wing eggs and they never hatched. So this time I got ones that are supposed to be alive. So they are slow release. Not all of them are going to be alive all at one time, but like there's nutrients inside the little satchels um so that they can keep on like hatching over time uh they had really good reviews people didn't have any issues with them arriving unalive <laughs> so these got here late last night and i didn't know they got here until this morning so hi we're gonna open this up and um put majority of them into the greenhouse i probably have more than what i need <laughs> i might sneak a couple around elsewhere and not tell anybody and at least one if not two in my ikea cabinet i don't know how many you're supposed to use there's like how many you need like per square foot of like space that you have or something or other along those lines i do not know that information off the top of my head i would have to look it up i don't actually even just know at all but i have a small space and there's only like so many that you can buy like you have to buy like a lot of them essentially. So I probably have more than what I need, but maybe that just means they'll work faster and better. So the ones that I got are mostly for thrips and mites and white flies and stuff of that nature. So they're not really gonna do much for the mealybugs, unfortunately. I can't get like ladybugs. There isn't a ton that you can get for mealybugs, which is irritating. I really just want some ladybugs, but um, can't have anything flying around in here. So unfortunately that's not really an option when it's inside. I wouldn't mind it if there were ladybugs flying around, mostly in there. If a few got out in here, it wouldn't bother me. I would just catch them and put them back in there. But not everybody who lives here <laughs> likes bugs flying around. So. Um, I think these mites that I got are good for fungus gnat larvae and eggs too, if I'm not mistaken. I might be completely wrong, but I'm hoping that that's a thing. Um, I also just got a pitcher plant that I'm going to hang right back here where this plant is hanging. So hopefully that'll help with some of like the flying stuff. So <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to open this box. I can't do it with one hand and then I'll turn you around and show you what it looks like. Hopefully it's not going to creep me out. I'm probably going to need to take a shower after this if I see things crawling around. Even though they're beneficial, like they're still bugs. So if you have a weird thing about bugs, then like you shouldn't have clicked on this video probably. So let's get that sorted out. So I do know that you're not supposed to put them in direct light and that you have to wait um, like if you had just put Captain Jack's or something like treated your plants with something, um, to wait like two weeks. Um, I think it's been two weeks since I sprayed 
probably not all the plants I sprayed maybe like a week ago. I tried to, I obviously stopped spraying once I decided that I was going to get these. Um, so I don't think it should be a problem, but we'll find out. We have plenty in here. So I guess if some of them die, like it'll be fine because there's more and they're supposed to slow release over like a four week period. So let's get started. And then if you want to like, you know, stay tuned, I'll keep you updated on how this goes. So that's how the video is going to go. Today is July, I want to say 29th something along those lines, close to the end of July. So um, this is day one of putting the predatory mites into the greenhouse. Let's do this. Yeah, I guess I can kind of like put you right here. I don't know if you can see me. You can see my shirt. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Frankenstein's Monstera. This one is from Boardwalk T-shirts. I do have a discount code, I just don't usually share it anymore because nobody asks about my t-shirts, but they're my, some of my favorites, so. Um, let's open these up. The box got a little crushed, but hopefully they're okay. Like I said, these are from Nature's Good Guys. I ordered my other um, stuff from them, but the eggs never hatched, unfortunately, so. Uh, that wasn't their fault, I don't think. I don't really know what happened, if they were in the mail for too long, or if I did something wrong. Oh, here's, here, two to four mites per square foot for a light infestation, five to ten mites per square foot for a heavy infestation. So each one of these satchels, I forget how many mites are in there, I think like a hundred? doesn't say on here because they they this is just um I think this is the one I got Amblesius Andersonii Andersoni I think I was supposed to get the Cucumeris for those Hoya mites that you guys told me to look at I watched Betsy Begonia's video like you suggested and um I probably have those mites, I'm just saying, but a lot of them are covered, like a, this is, a, they're the same um, genus, so they cover a lot of the same thing. So I got this one, this is the one she recommended for those type of mites, um, so if I need to get those, I'll get those next. So I'm hoping that this one is still going to take out those those weird Hoya mites that nobody really knows what to call because I mean I have like a lot of Hoyas and I I I feel like <laughs> I'd be ignorant to think that I don't have those do you know what I mean I definitely have a handful of Hoyas that no matter what I do they just don't grow it's a sticker nature's good guys look at that to David put it on his desk so here is the packaging again it's just in this little bag. Uh, hopefully I don't freak out and get... <laughs> you guys remember when I opened the eggs, I was like totally weirded out. So a lot of people said that you could see them crawling on the outside of the package and they are not wrong. I think I need to go put gloves on, to be honest with you, before I handle this because it's going to gross me out. Do you see them moving around in there? I don't know if you could see what I see. Hopefully, if I hold you here long enough, you can see them. Oh God, that's so freaking gross. But hey, they're alive, they're alive. I am just gonna go grab um, a pair of gloves so I don't feel icky after. And, um, and then we're gonna put some out because as you can see, they just have like these little hangy things. So you're supposed to hang them on plants. I'm probably gonna hang them just like near plants because I don't have a lot of plants that are big enough for me to hang these on. So um, let's see, hanging sachets with 1,000 mites in each sachet and there's 10 sachets in here. You guys, that's a lot. That's like way more than what I need. So I think we're gonna be okay. Um, I'm in the process of also watering and fertilizing everything so that I can kind of just 
leave stuff alone for the next like 10 days and let these guys do their thing so yeah I'm gonna get my gloves and come back and try and show you what I'm doing a little bit without getting grossed out okay <clears throat> hi okay so if I scoot back you can see me thankfully David keeps around these throwaway gloves for snake poo <laughs> so I'm gonna put a pair of these on I should have brought my hair tie but that's okay I don't want to go back down the ladder as you could see you guys watched me come up the ladder here it's really fun getting water up and down the ladder and this is the only watering can that I have right now which is really small and it only waters like maybe I don't know 15% of what's in here so yeah let's do this I am gonna get these out and then I'm just I'm gonna show you where I put them because I don't want to hold my phone and everything at the same time something's gonna go wrong so I got my gloves I got my mites and I'm gonna just I'm gonna put a couple in here let's do it okay. so they didn't get overheated that's good I set you guys up over here so maybe you can kind of see me a little bit Hey, Plant Fam. What's up, Plant Fam? What's today? I don't know. You have your watch What's on. Up? My What's hair's the date. I'm all emo. Tell me the date you have your thing on. I can't. I'm too sad. August. Today's Saturday, August 27th. So, today's Saturday, August 27th. I just I said that. It's, I'm just like a floating <laughs> half a face. <laughs> anyway, so I'm I'm continuing my uh, my vlog. Yeah. He doesn't know about it. I'm just forcing him to be in it. Right. I've had the predatory mites in the greenhouse and in the cabinet for like four weeks now, I think. I yeah. gotta look at a calendar, but it was like July 20 something. Today's Saturday the 27th. Yeah. We established that already. So I'm gonna take you up into the greenhouse and show you what's going on and give you 
an update and my are there still my mics closing up there? remarks um i don't know if there's any left they only last four weeks i gotta I'll get allow more you to issue issue a 60 second closing statement and well i'm off. not gonna do it here i gotta go up in the greenhouse Ugh. i just wanted to say hi and hi. put you in it because you're cute <laughs> all right i guess i gotta get up no i'm just really cozy hug me hug me <laughs> Are you recording this? <laughs> your arm hair is really long. What about your hair? <laughs> God, it's terrible. Why? I is backlit. I'm in a weird mood today. Said so I'm in a weird mood today. Yeah. My hair is all frizzy, oh, floofy. <gasps> Anyway, Woo! so Hoya Siren. Boo -boo. I'm gonna open up this side. I had the other side open. It's very hard to do with one hand. I gotta step on it. Okay. We got this. We got this. So here are some of my satchels here. I don't think there's any left in there. I haven't seen any. But you can see where the spider mites were on these leaves here. Um, there aren't any left. I don't see anything crawling around. For a while there, you were able to see the predatory mites crawling around on the leaves right here. But I don't see any of those anymore either. So I think it's safe to get rid of these and wipe down the leaves to get rid of any like webby nasty leftover stuff um and then i'm gonna be getting more predatory mites i think i'm gonna get a blend of different ones so i have one over here too this plant didn't have spider mites but i just wanted to put one over here to be safe in case there were any other mites going on hopefully she's got a new leaf coming soon so she needs an up pot though and I'm terrified to do it. Lots of roots in there. So everything is looking good. The leaves are coming out much, much healthier. This one got a little bit stuck, but they're coming out really big and gorgeous on my pink princess. Um, I have another one over here. So you can see some of this webbing is still here, but I don't see any of the mites like actually moving around anymore. I saw some like, oh no, there's one. See it? That looks like one of the spotted spider mites. Boop. Oh, now it's dead. Um, so these still need to be wiped down. There was definitely a lot of damage done to this philodendron fuzzy petiole unfortunately but this plant grows really quickly um so i'm not really that worried about it there is some dead this is the oldest leaf so that's fine i gotta take that off my jose bono oh, it won't come off i need to cut it so i think there's another satchel satchet i keep saying satchel but it's satchet I don't know, I had one back here on my Hoyas as well. You can see a lot of these are getting like really gorgeously sun stressed. So I'm not mad about that. But there's definitely still a little bit of pests in here. There's less fungus gnats. I want to say that my pitcher plant is doing its job, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's growing though. I don't know if you can tell. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have more in my cabinet so um i guess we can we can look at that and see what's going on in there but here's the greenhouse there's definitely a lot of like organizing and stuff that still needs to be done in here so there's that because i got these plastic trays and um they fit everything really nicely so I just need more. I ordered more. I have them in the box actually downstairs. So yeah, at the end of the day, I think 
that it was successful. There's still some spider mites and stuff in there. So I'm definitely going to be getting more. But in the meantime, like I said, I'm just going to wipe down all the leaves, give them a nice thorough cleaning, maybe treat them again with Captain Jack's. And then in a couple weeks, I will get some more predatory mites. So I think I'm going to get ones that come in like a bottle that are mixed. So there's all different like kinds of, of mites in there um, to cover like a more broad range mixed mites. of insects. Mixed mites. Yeah, and they come alive in a thing. So I'm curious to try that over the sachets. I kept saying satchels, <laughs> like a bag, like a satchel instead of sachets. It's fine. But there were like what, 10,000 in each one or something like that and I had 10 of them. So like, I don't know if they all hatched. I didn't like, I didn't see a lot of them at first. Like the first week I tried to get some footage for you guys um, to show you the good guys moving around on the plants. They move really fast. It's actually really interesting to see because you can clearly tell the difference between the good ones and the bad ones because the bad ones move in a predatory manner. They are definitely predator bugs. So there's that. I'm going to take you to the, to the cabinet now. Hi. Take you to the cabinet today. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. It's good lighting in here today though. No, but I'm very excited for the, uh, the accordion. <laughs> Here's the cabinet. The plants are definitely looking better in here, but as you can see, I have another sachet there and another one there. This is what's happening to some of them because of the mites. We have a whole other thing that we're going to do. David got me um, a water thermometer so that we can give them a nice warm water bath one of these days. So I'm going to be filming that and you guys will obviously see that. And hopefully that'll eradicate all of the bugs because we've got a lot of mealy bugs going on in here too that are very difficult for me to keep up with. And a lot of things need to be repotted and trellised. So I'm pretty sure that I'm literally just going to take everything out of the cabinet, clean all the glass, repot everything that needs to be repotted, literally clean every single Hoya, and then put them all back and then release the predatory uh, bugs in there once I've done all of that. So we have a lot of work to do, fam, <laughs> but it's fine. Everything's going to be fine. The Hoyas are going to be much happier. They're going to thank me for it. A lot of these are still in moss or like in a cocoa, like chunky mix that doesn't really hold on to moisture well. So we got a lot of repotting to do. Is that okay with you? He's really cute. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> My baby. Anyway, so that's it for this video. I'm going to come over here so you can be in it if you want to. What I'm going to do an outro okay. for my, my bug vlog. Your bug vlog? Yeah. So that's it for this video. Yay. If you liked it, you Here's should give foot. it a thumbs a toe. <laughs> thumbs up. up. <laughs> That's gross. That gross. Not your feet. I like your feet. Jeez. You have nice feet. I just yeah. meant like I don't want everybody to put their toes up. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this video. That, okay, hold on, stop. I don't think a bunch of people watching this video are now putting You never their foot know. In they could be laying in bed like, yeah, toes up. All right, you know what? Woo! That's the emoji that you need to use in the comments then. Is like a toe. Is there a, a toe, toe emoji? I think so. I just. Toe emoji? <laughs> you just. What are you doing? <laughs> You're a mess. <laughs> I think there's like a foot. I think there's like a foot emoji. Is there a foot emoji? Yeah, like a barefoot. This is so weird apparently because, like, that's what you're gonna leave if you I'm watch over, this entire I'm movie. Over here. But now I can be next to you. Hey. Hi. Yeah, I know this is good. <laughs> now we're like both in it. But filming I can see you, you filming me. And you can see me seeing you. Inception. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, if you liked this video, fam, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from, from me. me. There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. 
there's a Facebook group, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Donate a few bucks to my channel. Everything is appreciated. I cannot <laughs> do this without you. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it, right? Okay. I'll leave the information for the bugs that I got on Amazon down there somewhere. You got the bugs on Amazon? Yeah. Amazon they bugs. Them. Yeah, but that's it's not so shipped weird. through like Amazon Prime. It's shipped through the company. <laughs> I don't think they have a bunch of bugs in their warehouse. No. They collect some bugs. Somebody because order bugs. they'll only ship them like on certain days so that they're only in the mail sense. for like a day or two. Yeah, we don't want the bugs to be unhappy. You pay more like in shipping than you do for the bugs themselves. But anyway... That's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I definitely recommend trying these if you have a lighter infestation. I feel like my infestation was like a little bit more, a little bit more. So like I just need more. And this is something that I think that I'm just gonna keep doing honestly every month. Getting, once I find like the, the ones that I like, you know what I mean? Then I'll just keep getting them monthly and hopefully we won't have any any bug problems anymore because yeah. I think the predatory mites they eat the fungus gnat larva and stuff like that don't too, chickens so. eat them we can put chickens in the greenhouse but chickens do eat bugs yeah I just don't want to smell chickens in the greenhouse we don't need, we don't need chickens yeah, in that'd here be gross. we have enough stinky kitties stinky booty stinky. anyway <laughs> I appreciate you fam and I hope I see you in the next one stinky booty bye